I am ready to get out of the city. But look at this crap. It's gonna be nice to hit some dirt roads and undriven roads. a spiral jetty right before the sun sets. There's Mandy. Oh. Day one. Day one in the van. Off to go make some dinner in the van. And then try to find somewhere pretty. As you know. Prettier than this? Yeah. This is all right, I guess. It's not too bad. Made it through our campsite for the first night. Not a bad sight. Here comes Mandy. Cooking our first dinner in the van. What is it? Quinoa. Yum. And some chicken, turkey? Turkey. Turkey. So having the heater and the stove cooking at the same time, it gets hot fast. So for both ventilation as well as condensation purposes, I have the front little triangle windows open on both sides as well as this window cracked so we don't have to worry about carbon monoxide as well as condensation. Even though we'll probably have to deal with condensation in the morning, but that's your all-time enemy when you're living in a van. Condensation. That heater really makes it warm in here. Mandy knitting. We're trying to learn how to knit. It is 72 degrees right now inside here. And we actually opened a couple more windows to help with condensation, so it's extremely well vented and still warm. But it's going to take a while for us to get used to not being in a house at night, and not watching TV or having phone service and that kind of stuff. The sun is rising. First night sleeping together in the van. We both didn't sleep amazing, but we gotta we gotta get used to it. So we've got the whole salt flats to ourselves. Hoping that the sunrise gets crazy, but it's looking pretty good so far. It's like a moon out here. There's just nothing except for dead pelicans. I think I'm gonna bust out the drone for a morning flight. Turning out to be a beautiful sunrise. We've got the drone up right now, flying up above us. It's a beautiful day. Should we go make some breakfast? So some people were voicing their concerns about my propane tank from the last video with the bungee cord. I just want to show I drove probably like 45 minutes on the worst dirt road. Just the whole thing, just all bumps. And it's on there just as good as when it started. I added one more. But this thing is not going anywhere. And it's locked in the bottom just in case anything does go happen. But even if one bungee cord rips, the other ones will still hold it. Morning coffee with a view.
is the spiral jetty right there. Someone spent a lot of time making it.